Good morning, Panthers. Today is Tuesday, January 5th, 2021. Let's begin our day by remembering our mission here at St. Anthony de Padua Catholic School, where we develop lifelong learners who live their faith through stewardship and are committed to Catholic virtues and academic excellence. Just as a reminder, academic excellence, we mean doing your best. So it might not be getting straight A's, but it's making sure that you're doing your best to complete all of your assignments to the best of your ability and asking for help when you need it. Let's begin our day with a few moments of morning prayer and reflection. Today's epiphany is that of the shepherds in the field. An angel appeared to the shepherds and told them where to find the baby Messiah. We continue to commemorate Catholic schools by honoring St. John Newman. He was a bishop in Philadelphia who founded the first Catholic school system in the United States. He was a gifted organizer and used this ability to spread the gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. In that region, there were shepherds living in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. The gospel of the Lord. Think about this in your heart. Why do you think the angels brought the news of Jesus's birth to the poor shepherds in the field. Glory to God in the highest. Because of your promise to your people, O Lord, we live in hope for a world of peace and joy. We praise you as we sing with all the angels. Glory to God in the highest. We pray in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. This morning, our flag comes from Gael in kindergarten. Thank you, Gael. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much, Gail. And birthdays, let me check our birthday list today. Today, January 5th, no birthdays. A happy unbirthday to everyone, but silly holiday today it is National Whipped Cream Day. So if you're a fan of whipped cream, it may be a good, good night to have a little dollop of whipped cream on your hot chocolate or dessert or um, Maybe just straight out of the tub with a spoon. Whipped cream's not my favorite, but um, I understand why people appreciate it. All right, virtue of the week this, uh, this month, all of our virtues this month will focus around the virtue of respect, the strength to show kindness towards others, recognizing their talents, uh, the opposing vice of respect. You find it, I had it noted here just a few minutes ago is disdain. Disdain is the weakness to treat others with contempt or scorn or a lack of respect. Um, sometimes it's easy to focus on what irritates us or maybe the flaws in others, what others do wrong. So let's practice building our stamina with the virtue of respect and striving to see the good in others as we all uh, carry God in our hearts and we are all children of God. All right, Panthers, with that, a few questions we have about the fence posts. Somebody asked me yesterday what's going on with that. We're working on a security fence out on the blacktop. So those fence posts that you see uh, decorated so cheerfully, thanks to Mr. Turba, will eventually have fence along them. 
to keep us safe while we play out on the blacktop and transition between the school and the gym. So we're really excited about that. We apologize for the extra noise as the new school roof is being put on, but thank you for your patience and we're so excited to see that um, after many years of waiting coming into fruition. All right, I believe that's all of the announcements we have today. Uh, everybody have a great Tuesday. And before I sign off, let's recite our St. Anthony Faith Pledge. We, the students and faculty of St. Anthony de Padua Catholic School, vow to be Christ's light for the world. May our eyes see Christ in one another. May our mouths speak words of love and kindness. May our ears listen for ways to serve. May our feet, may our hands reach out to help. May our feet walk closely with Jesus so we may live in his light. Jesus, light for our world, shine in us and through us. Panthers, have a great Tuesday in St. Anthony de Padua. Pray for us.